This video presents a real-time state estimation framework using tactile and visual sensing. This work is done at MIT MCube Lab. The question that we are asking is, where is the object during robot manipulation? Notice that during the process, occlusions often occurs. To compensate for occlusions, we need tactile sensing. We propose that use vision for rough estimation and then use touch for the interaction in the last inch. Here I'm comparing vision versus tactile sensing. Visual sensors provide rich and global information, but when occlusion exists, vision is of little use. In addition, intrinsic and extrinsic calibration errors also make the information inaccurate. On the other hand, Tactile sensors provide only local information, but they can be close to the object, and the measurement is accurate with respect to the robot fingers. Vision and tactile information complement each other well, so we would like to find an efficient algorithm to combine them. To answer this question, we create an instrument setup to experiment. It's a pusher slider system. We want to create an online observer that accepts the following inputs. Vision post detection from webcam. Contact information on pusher. And pusher motion from the robot. And the observer should output the pose of the object in real time. The output should be as accurate as possible based on the inputs. A Vicon system is used to collect accurate ground truth. Key challenges include missing inputs and noisy measurements. For example, vision input will be missing during occlusion, and when occlusion exists, vision may give outliers. Our approach uses ISAM as the framework. It can be seen as an online nonlinear least square solver. It can quickly find a solution after we add new variables and cost functions at every time step. The variables are the pose of the object at every time step. And we add the following cost functions to first enforce that the pose should be close to visual inputs. Second, enforce that the object should be right in contact with the pusher when contact is detected. And third, enforce that object should move according to physics. Note that we assume Gaussian noise models. Now, we highlight three experimental results. First, we show that contact helps keep track of object under occlusion. At the beginning of the video, the webcam could see the object, and our estimation result is shown in red. But after the robot started moving, it will occlude the object sometimes. We see that our estimation kept on tracking the object but the cyan one representing the latest vision input kept at the same place. Next, we show that the contact information makes estimates more accurate. We plot the ground truth as black, the vision input as cyan, and our estimate as red. Notice the pure visual estimate. There was a penetration happening here that is corrected properly by fusing contact information. Our system can handle objects with irregular shapes and handle changing number of contact points. Here we are showing a long sequence with various pushing interactions. Please visit our website for more information.